All right, guys, today I want to talk about these LT1 direct injected engines. And a problem with direct injection is carbon buildup. So on a gasoline motor, you have port injection. So what happens is the gasoline is shot into the intake runner and then it goes down through the head through the intake valve and then into the motor well direct injected motors which the new gen 5 lt1 is the fuel is actually directed straight into the cylinder on top of the piston that means it bypasses the intake valve well you what happens is you get oil that comes down through your intake and goes down on top of the valves and you don't have gasoline to wash it off so what happens from the heat it builds up carbon and then you get a bunch of buildup around the intake valve now that is actually a problem you can get decreased performance out of your engine decreased fuel mileage because the more carbon buildup you have around the valve the less air that can flow around that valve into the motor so this motor here actually has a OEM catch can. That's what General Motors says. And this is supposed to be it right here. But when I just did my cold air intake install and I took off the factory elbow here, I noticed there was a good bit of oil puddled up inside of it. So today, I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to clean some of that carbon up off of them intake valves. I do recommend getting an aftermarket catch can. That is on my list of things to do. Uh, I was looking at a few of them that mount up here, but I don't feel like using spacers or washers to space my uh, strut tower bar. So I'm probably going to go with the Mighty Mouse, and the Mighty Mouse actually bolts here, which is a pretty nice setup. It's out in the front. It's out of the way of everything. So I do recommend a catch can, which will end up catching more oil residue than what you have stock so i'm going to show you here real quick a quick easy way to clean some of all right guys so what you're going to want to use is this seafoam spray i picked this up at walmart it was right around ten dollars what i ended up doing i removed this and i removed the elbow now this is face downward so if you would just either stick this under here like they recommend and spray it it's all gonna lay right down here in this belly and it's not gonna get sucked up into the intake so what you're going to do is remove this that way you can take this bend it down where it is facing up into the throttle body now they recommend you hold the gas at 2000 rpms so since I am doing this myself I end up putting a brick on the gas pedal, got it around two grand. So here it goes. You're gonna wanna stick this in. Like so, and just spray. You hear how the RPMs are starting to drop? That means it's sucking it in the engine. I'm just gonna hold it here for a little while so what I did I put roughly half the can in and then I shut the car off so now you're supposed to wait 10 minutes so it can soak and eat some of that carbon up I will tell you this take the black piece off mine fell off luckily it's just sitting inside there so make sure you take that black piece off of there so I was able to take that apart get that black piece out so whatever you do, take that black elbow off there. God forbid it would suck inside your engine. So I put everything back together. The car's been sitting for roughly 10 minutes. Uh, the can says to put the whole can in. I did maybe three quarters. So you could do the whole can. My car don't have that many miles on it. Uh, so now you're supposed to take the car out, drive it, uh, get under some wide open throttle, so that's what I'm going to do now. So should, depending on how bad your engine is, when you do go to drive it, you should notice a bunch of black smoke or soot coming out the back of the car. 
that's normal that's just burning off all the residue and all the carbon buildup so if you like this video give me a like subscribe i got more videos like this one all right guys have a good day